But we want to talk to you today about is eating this way harder for men than it is for women? And I think part of the reason I wanted to talk about it was um, there's a person at the gym that we, you know, we've been seeing regularly since we started working out there. And we noticed that he started gaining some weight, even though he's in the gym regularly. And he's gaining it all the visceral fat yeah. right in the front. And Russ was having a conversation with him, and he's taken a new job recently. And he has to go, has to go out with clients and do a lot of corporate dinners and he feels very what's the pressure do you think obligated I think o obligated that's a good word to drink not and, and you know eat steak and drink hard liquor not uh -huh. even like drink beer but drink hard liquor and that made me wonder is being healthy considered unmanly I don't think it's considered unmanly I just think uh, people and because listen I've never fell into that pressure of having to do something like that. If I thought it was harmful for my for me, I wouldn't do it. Um, I think in this particular case, the person enjoys having the alcohol and enjoys eating that way. That way, and mm -hmm. so therefore, he doesn't want to. He or she doesn't want <laughs> to. Uh, what's the word I want to use for? Accept the consequences of the actions. Mm. But yet. But I, mean, I think there is corporate pressure, though, for people to, you know... They said to me that they felt that, that if they didn't keep up with the person who's higher up than they are, that that was going to be a bad influence on them. It's going to look badly for yeah. their corporate career. Yeah, so, I mean, absolutely, there's, there's a pressure keeping up with, in this case, the boss. If the boss is going to have a scotch, you have a scotch with the boss. You know, mm. if the boss is going to eat steak, you don't order a salad, you know. Yes, you do, by the way. <laughs> you order what is smart. You know, I mean, it's just that simple. Yeah, and I think for whatever reason, you've always been really good at that. Mm -hmm. You've been good at being able to say whatever. And, you know, that comes back to, hey, Brandy, good morning. It's good to see you this Brandy, morning. Brandy, how are you doing? Um, I, I like to t tell the story that when, when I was playing competitive volleyball, um, a lot of us, you know, that played together and whatever and hung out, we would go and, and practice together. And then afterward, we would all grill and what and drink. And I did. I never drank. I was never a drinker. I would have one and then I was done. And we were all sitting around um, this one guy's house one time. His name was Tony. And great guy, big guy. Must be Italian. Really sweet. Um, and he had a pitcher of margaritas. And he was walking around filling everybody's glass. And as he came by me, I just kind of waved him off. I didn't, I didn't even say anything. I just waved him off. And then he went to the next guy. Hey, Carol. Morning, Carol. And the next guy said, no, I've had enough. And Tony filled his glass. And Al, who was sitting next to me, said, wait, I don't understand. I tell you, no, I don't want any more, and you fill my glass. Robin just waves her hand at you, and you pass her by. Why? And Tony said something very interesting that I have never forgotten. He said, because if I fill your glass, you drink it. If I fill her glass, she wastes it. Mm. And so I think, hey, Valerie. Good morning, Valerie. That's something that we have to get better at is that not giving into that pressure. And I've had that happen a lot of times mm -hmm. where I've, I had somebody when I was dating order me a glass of wine that I told him I didn't want. And then he was like, you're wasting the wine. I said, I told you I didn't want it. Right. Like, it's not my fault. You ordered it. I said no. And so being able to say no, I think it's for both men and women can be a challenge. But I definitely understand that for men, like their, their male ego gets threatened or whatever. I understand it exists. I just never fell into that. I just, you know, I'd have none of it. I mean, I always more was more concerned with my health and not my image as far as that goes. Yeah. Um, you know, I know a lot of people that didn't make it to my age because they fell into those types of uh, situations. Habits, yeah. You know? And I, I also think with, for women, and this may be more for young women than it is women our age, but women sometimes feel like they have to be able to keep up with the guys, whether that means drinking or eating. I know that um, when I was playing competitively, I could eat. I could put away some food. And guys were always like, oh, it's so impressive to see you eat. And it was like this thing, this bragging rights thing. And um, I know that eating plant-based, there are some women who say they have to be careful because they feel like they should eat as much as their guy does. And I'm like, there is no way. Like, Russ probably eats twice what yeah, I do. Yeah, I eat a lot. There is no way I could eat as much food as he does. I would be miserable. And so I think that that's something to consider. And I guess what I'm, what I'm saying in a roundabout way is you have to know yourself and you have to be willing to, to kind of stand up for yourself. And when people try to bully you or whatever, laugh them off or tell them, yeah, that's not going to happen for me. Or if they, you know, order something that you don't want to eat, waste it. That's not yeah. on, that's not on you. If you say no and someone orders it anyway, that's not on you. Right. Yeah. I mean, 
you are in the end responsible for your own health. Mm -hmm. um, and if you succumb to the pressures, and there are pressures out there. We're not, I'm not trying to say that. Yeah, we're not saying they're not, easy. they don't exist. I mean, in this particular case or this particular individual, he feels the pressure that if he doesn't do it, his ability to get promoted or to, you know, be in the right place. Because he won't be one of the guys. He won't, yeah, he'll be, in the, he'll be an outsider. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm not in the corporate world. I don't know how true that is. I'd like to think that if you do a good job and you are the type of people that person like, people, <coughs> excuse me, like. Peanuts. Peanuts. That you'll do just great. I mean, in the end, you do a good job and you're a people person. I think that's what gets you promoted. Um, thinking you have to succumb to uh, somebody who has very bad habits and keep up with them doesn't seem logical. Yeah. Laura says that she can eat a lot, but when it's whole food plant-based, it doesn't cause you an issue. Yeah, it doesn't. It, mm -hmm. you, you know, it's, you're, as long as you're not really like ridiculously stuffing yourself with sauces and stuff, because, yeah. you know, sauces made out of nuts and whatever can be pretty high in calories if you're eating to, the, to an extreme. Yeah. But I think otherwise, I don't know. When, when I was in corporate, I was never that person that fit in, I, in which I'm sure shocks everybody here. Yeah. I never fit in well. I was always the person who was the one standing up going, this isn't working, we need to fix it. And people were like, shut up, be quiet. Just keep doing it that way. I'm like, it's dumb to do it that way. I do think the good news is that and you're starting to see it in, in, on TV, you're starting to see it in the press everywhere, is that this whole... The whole whole food plant based eat more plants movement is getting more traction. Mm -hmm. I mean, you saw the Canada um, food uh, um, rec guide. Guide, mm -hmm. thank you, just came out, and they're talking about more plants. You know, so I think that's the good thing. So I think it's going to be less of a um, awkward feeling when you start saying things like "I eat only plant" or "I don't eat," you know, this or that. Um, it's going to be, you know, it's going to yeah. be more and more accept, you know, acceptable, which is awesome. I do think you're, we're still going to deal with, and this is something that's true. It's been true my whole life, whether it's exercising or, you know, um, eating healthy or drink, not drinking. Other people feel guilt when they see someone doing something they feel like they should. Mm -hmm. And so the way that they handle that is to put the guilt on you, put, put you down, um, you know, say whatever they have to say about it. Mm -hmm. And so that that's something you have, you have to learn to work through is, is what they're telling you your stuff or their stuff? And if it's their stuff... <laughs> yeah, that's just it. I mean, that's that's the that's the big issue. So, but what's what's fun is so we are going into the city today. And we're we gonna, are. We're gonna go see the car show. Yay! Fun stuff. So we reached out to um, someone who follows us and asked them if they could because they live in the city and asked if they could give us ideas for places to eat. Like they sent us eight places that are close to where we're going that are vegan. Yeah. And I think that is tremendous. And even gave us feedback like. This one has big portions, and this one yeah. is healthier, but the portions are smaller. Right. And like, gave us it was really sweet. So yeah. um, we're really excited. We're, we'll pick one, and I'll let you guys know like where we go and what mm -hmm. we have. And um, I'm sure that because it's vegan, it's not whole food, plant based. It's not going to be as healthy as something. We'll have the oil. Home. That's the big thing. It's going to have oil in it. Right. Yeah. So that's going to be a challenge, but I think we're going to have a good time. I'm really looking forward yeah, to it. It's going to be a fun day. I did manage to uh, bang my fourth toe on something mm -hmm. this morning, and so it's unhappy. So walking around, baby be a little bit difficult but i'm going to get over it because i want to go mm. so yeah we're going to have we're going to have fun today I'm we sure. are no doubt. do you have anything else you want to tell them i uh, guess to answer your question i do think maybe uh, the question about is it harder for men i do think maybe there's more pressure on men because a woman can always say oh i'm on a diet and people are like oh okay you know whatever but as with a man i think there's a little more of oh that's, that's i don't cool. i don't know i agree that there is more pressure but i think the pressure is is self-inflicted I really do. It's allowed. I, I think it's a perception that I have to keep up with this guy or I have to keep up with that guy. Um, when you don't really know what that guy's thinking, that guy's probably ordering something that they want because they want it. Or they're ordering something because they feel obligated. Right. Or you're like, yeah, you could be going back and forth trying to keep up with each other and you're, you know. And you both think it's ridiculous. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I think it could be. You might have a comment there. Oh, uh, comment. Got to pay attention. Allison Game. Yeah. Yay. Hi, Hi. Allison. Good nice morning. Nice to see you this morning. So that's my two cents. Yeah. All right. Oh, wait, I got change. <laughs> Silliness. Um, I think that it's all about making sure that you take care of you and let other people take care of their stuff. And if someone orders something or pours you a drink or does whatever that isn't what you want, 
just don't mm -hmm. drink it. Don't eat it. Don't mm -hmm. don't take it. I think that that and once you kind of establish that baseline, people will start to leave you alone because they realize you're going to waste it. Like Tony did when I was playing volleyball, he realized, and I didn't like I wasn't even conscious that I did that, but he had observed it obviously over the course of our um, hanging out together. Mm -hmm. That if I say I'm done, I'm really done. There you go. So. Um, anything else? No. All right. Yeah. Well, we're going to go eat breakfast, and then we're going to go to the car show. If you're in Philly, stop by and say hello. That's right. All right. We'll be dressed like Russ and Robin. We will be dressed like Russ and Robin. <laughs> and so with that, we will say eat real food, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great day, guys. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow.